Hey, what's up everyone? Welcome back to my channel. My name is Janice Crater, Pinoy Tech Dad. And today we're going to be checking out the Oppo A92 and we'll find out if this is something that's worth considering as a mid-range phone. But first, of course, before anything else, let's do a quick unboxing. All right, let's talk about the design first. So at the bottom, we have a headphone jack, a microphone, a USB Type-C port, a down firing speaker. And on the right side, we have the fingerprint scanner mounted on the power button. And then on the left side, we'll find the volume rockers and a dual SIM card slot with an expandable memory card slot. So really good job on that. The top portion is quite clean. At the back, we'll find a quad camera setup with a 48 megapixel main shooter. And of course, we do have the Oppo branding at the bottom right corner. And we do have a punch hole camera on the upper right corner, which is nice. Performance wise, this is something very intriguing for me because this is only equipped with a Snapdragon 665 processor, which is a little bit outdated at this point, considering that other mid-range phones from other brands like Xiaomi is offering Snapdragon 720G. So I'm a little bit perplexed as to why Oppo is actually offering the Snapdragon 665 chipset. If you guys have any idea as to why Oppo went this way, let me know in the comment section. As a daily phone, this does perform okay. You won't have any problems dealing with your daily apps like social media app, even the camera app, they run smoothly. Even though it only got around 180 plus thousand points on Antutu benchmark, it does perform really smoothly. I mean, compared to, for example, a Snapdragon 720G processor would perform about 270 plus thousand points on a Tutu benchmark. So this is definitely quite lagging behind. It does come close with, say for example, a Samsung M31. This is equipped with an Exynos 9611 processor, which also performs almost the same as the Snapdragon 665 on the Oppo A92. So I guess you can compare these phones together, but not with the Snapdragon 720G mid-range phones because that's gonna be an unfair comparison. But let's go ahead and talk about the display on this. It's actually a full HD display. It's colorful, it's spongy, the colors are vibrant. The display is quite sharp, nothing to write home about. This is supposedly a 60 Hertz display, but let me show you something that perplexed me. Because check this out. I'm not even getting 60 hertz refresh rate on this. Can you see that? Yeah, I mean, 40 frames per second. Wow, that, that is surprising. Especially if you're paying for 16,000 pesos on this. Oh, I feel like you're being shortchanged on this. Or in Filipino, they call it tinipid, right? Tinipid kanila. You're paying a lot for this phone and then you only get what 50 frames per second on your phone not even 60 frames per second anyway you'll still love watching videos on this i mean as you can see here the colors are punchy they're vibrant this is actually a video from sir sula tech reviews as you can see right it's quite clear this is just from youtube and the image looks really sharp moving on let's go ahead and talk about the camera on this so this is probably the one thing that i really like about the oppo a92 the photos that i got actually looked good but instead of me just talking here let me go ahead and show you the samples that i got and you know what's better i leave a link in the description box where you can check out the full resolution photos that i'm showing you here in the video so you guys will be able to judge the photos for yourself all right so let's go ahead and check out those samples
this is the Oppo E92 front camera test. Um, yeah, what do you guys think? Uh, I think there's too much softening on my face. It's not quite sharp, so there's too much beautification there. And I think you can turn it off and just have it on default. So this is what you'll get out of the box. Let's try to face this forward so you guys can see what it looks like. All right, so there's the sky. And if I try to turn around, this is what it's gonna look like. So that's some HDR adjustment. So if I move to the side like this, see? And then if I come back here, the background is gonna be blown out. So that's gonna be it for this front facing camera test. All right, so those were our quick camera samples. What do you guys think? Let me know in the comment section. And now let's move on to the gaming portion of this review. Okay, let me be honest. I only played two games on this. I played Call of Duty Mobile and Mobile Legends, and I was able to play both games at their maximum graphical settings, which is ultra mode for Mobile Legends and very high graphical settings for Call of Duty Mobile. I was expecting this to be lagging in performance when it comes to gaming because this is only equipped with the Snapdragon 665. I would say that the Snapdragon 665 processor is still kicking ass. I mean, it's still taking numbers and still performing really well in games. So in that aspect, you won't have any issues with the Oppo A92. I don't know, maybe I was just enjoying my game too much. But for me, there wasn't any particular gaming issue when it comes to performance on the Oppo A92. So thumbs up for that because I was truly impressed and truly surprised with the performance. By the way, a lot of you are actually wondering what I use in my gaming videos and those are actually thumb sleeves from fly dg i link them in the description box i think they cost around 100 to 200 pesos and they're quite useful the oppo a92 is equipped with a 5000 milliamp hour battery capacity and this will definitely last you for a full day and you will still have extra juice remaining at the end of the day so you might not still be able to fully discharge the battery on this but of course you'll be charging this overnight and if you do charge it you'll be able to finish charging it from single digit up to 100 percent in a matter of two hours and 40 minutes. This does charge up to 18 watts fast charging. It's nothing impressive. I mean, the Samsung Galaxy M31 is equipped with a 6,000 milliamp hour battery capacity. And this one, the Oppo A92 only has 5,000 milliamp hours of battery. And the Samsung Galaxy M31 has a super AMOLED display. And the AMOLED display is usually more power efficient than an LCD display, which uses backlight. So keep that in mind if you're looking for a phone with a long battery life, especially if you're considering both the Samsung Galaxy M31 and the Oppo A92. All right, so that's gonna be it for my full review of the Oppo A92. I mean, it's kind of hard to recommend something like this in 2020 because it does ask for 16,000 pesos. That's a lot of money for something that's equipped with only a Snapdragon 665 processor, considering that we do have phones at almost the same price range or even lower price range that have Snapdragon 720G processors like the Redmi Note 9S and the Redmi Note 9 Pro. And then if you add just a few more thousand pesos, you do get the Xiaomi Mi Note 10 Lite. So that's another great option in the mid-range. You also have the Poco X2. And I even forgot to mention the Huawei Nova 7i. So I think the Oppo A92 will have a tough time breaking through the mid-range segment because the mid-range segment is packed with tons of great value phones out there from Xiaomi, from Realme, and from other brands as well. So if you're not really a fan of Oppo and you're just looking for the best mid-range phone out there, this is not gonna be it, okay? But this is something that I'd be happy if I got it for free or if someone gifted this to me. But in terms of getting the best value for your money, this is not it. Oh, by the way, my friends at the Gadget Gang also have their take on the Oppo A92. And I think we do have different takes on this. So you guys might wanna check out uh, Sula Tech Reviews as well as Gadget Psychic for their different takes on the Oppo A92. And I do think that Sula Tech Reviews and I have very extreme takes on the Oppo A92. So you might find that interesting. So go ahead and check out his video as well so you guys will be enlightened 
on what he actually liked about the Oppo A92. And that's gonna be good for you guys who are still trying to decide because you do get different opinions on the same phone. Anyway, if you enjoyed this video and find it helpful, please give it a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel, and hit that bell button so you can watch more videos like this in the future. That's it for today, guys. Keep safe and have a great day.